Good morning, Robert Skirbler with the OBX Wave Report filming to the south and east from Jeanette's Pier at some one to two foot crumbly waves here on the sandbar. Uh, nonetheless, a beautiful OBX morning this morning. Uh, some northeast winds and east northeast winds blow in here off the ocean in the range of about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We've got similar conditions up and down the outer banks today with one to three foot waves generally depending on location um here in the north a bit smaller but really not too much difference regardless of where you are all right so let's look at some of the observations from the wave monitors um right now at nags head according to the um monitor observations apparently i picked up the wrong clipboard we've got um one to two foot waves here uh fair conditions and in rodanthe also one to two foot waves uh and uh choppy conditions and down in buxton uh one to two foot waves as well um temperatures today getting up to around 50 right now in the upper 40s i can kind of see my breath actually as i'm talking right now in cloudy conditions for Tomorrow, we expect the waves to increase in height. We're expecting three to seven foot surf um, with uh, mostly semi choppy, we'll call it semi choppy conditions tomorrow with east northeast winds blowing between 10 and 20 miles per hour, much larger. And a chance of things cleaning up later in the day as the winds are expected to die down. We'll have to see. Uh, because the predictions for when the winds are calming down and shifting to the west in the evening tomorrow are kind of bouncing around. Um, it could happen late in the afternoon and uh, could happen in the evening, could happen mid-afternoon. Uh, so we'll just have to see. Um, generally rain tomorrow. Uh, winds, of course, uh, shifting to the south before they turn west and die off in the evening. And then on Sunday, we expect three to six foot waves in mostly choppy conditions, um, semi-fair conditions with uh, three to six foot surf. And um, still cloudy, uh, temperatures on both Saturday and Sunday, um, relatively warm, uh, low 60s on Saturday, and on Sunday, uh, temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 50s. So, um, <laughs> That's what I remember from the information I, I wrote down, and then of course now I, I don't have it because I brought the wrong clipboard with me. But uh, um, that's what we're looking at over the next three days. Early next week, um, three to five foot surf for the most part, and looking at choppy to fair conditions with uh, the flow continuing out of the uh, north and uh, northeast for the most part with some northwesterly winds thrown in as the um, various impulses move across the United States and uh, mess with our wind pattern here in the Outer Banks. All right, so thank you for joining me for this Friday, March 1st session of the OVX Wave Report. Hope you guys get into the water and find some good waves somewhere. Um, not extremely promising today, but nonetheless, uh, some rideable surf and um, we are starting to see those water temperatures start to warm up into the low 50s south uh, getting into the upper 40s north so um, uh, we have looks like we have crossed the threshold into the long-term warming trend as we get into spring and that's uh, that's pretty exciting um, looking forward to some warmer water here as we've been uh, surfing in the cold water all winter long but thanks to uh the folks down there at real war sports we've got some great gear and have been able to manage it okay so as i always do i'd like to ask you guys to please do everything you can to help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning the primary response is the mass deployment of clean energy uh, mass deployable forms of clean energy at this time wind water solar and electric vehicles as well as uh, battery storage and we do have some other clean energy technologies that are coming to the fore but those are the three that 
benefit the most from economies of scale, which help to also grow our manufacturing base and give us good, good jobs. So um, all sorts of good stuff coming from clean energy. But unfortunately, we are staring into the teeth of a worsening climate crisis so long as we continue to burn fossil fuels. Um, right now, uh, global temperatures in the range of about 1.3 degrees Celsius above 1880s baselines, and that's actually pretty darn bad. Um, and uh, you know, fossil fuels in the atmosphere right now push carbon dioxide levels very high, higher they've, than they've been in millions of years. Um, and uh, that's putting a big stress on our climate system, on our oceans, on our glaciers, um, on our weather systems. Uh, and here on, on the coastline, it's pretty fragile. I mean, you can see this uh, thin barrier of sand between the ocean, which um, has been riled up by climate crisis, and uh, you know all the stuff that we hold dear. So um, let's. Uh, get together let's get that clean energy mass deployed and then let's um let's also work together to do what we can to defend what we have here on the coastlines our, our beautiful communities and our um environments uh, which we all rely so much on all right so thank you for joining me and i will be back with you shortly